There was a time in the NBA when you needed to be a super tall guy in order to go and make it in the league. This was because of tall legends like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell, and more. If you were under seven foot, you could play in the league, but likely wouldn't be a star. Now, obviously that has all changed, but there are still those who still prefer to have the tallest of the bunch at their beck and call. And that brings us to Robert Bobrovsky, a seven foot seven kid who might make it to the NBA if they let him. Allow us to ask how good is this seven foot seven basketball player? Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number five, who is Robert Bobrovsky? If you don't know his name, that's fine. We're gonna introduce you to him. Robert Bobrovsky is from Romania and he is at his tallest at seven foot seven or seven eight, depending on who you ask. This usually would make him an immediate top candidate for the NBA and other pro basketball leagues. But if you take a look at him, he's not your typical tall man. He's been called the pencil neck because of how thin and elongated his body is. That being said, that didn't stop him from trying to play basketball. Number four, youth play. In 2014, he was recruited by AS Stella Azura, an amateur level basketball club based in Italy that produced NBA power forward Andrea Bargani. A scouting report on him noted that he possessed an improved mid-range jumper and passing ability, and his physical attributes made him an obvious mismatch against any of his opponents. Like most players of his stature, however, he was limited by his lack of muscle mass, endurance, and mobility on the court. His tremendously awkward gait and threat of exhaustion forced Bobrovsky to play limited minutes after helping the team win its under-15 championship title. Despite his limitations, he became an internet sensation in early 2016, as videos surfaced of him dominating much shorter competition during a game with Stella Azura. Number 3. High School Play in 2016, he moved to Geneva, Ohio in the U.S. to attend the prep school Spire Institute and Academy. Entering his freshman season, Bobrovsky was put on a minutes restriction as he attempted to bulk up his physique for a transition into a faster, more physical American basketball. In January of 2017, he made his debut for Spire Institute. Then in 2018, went to the nearby Grand River Academy. In July of 2020, he committed to Rochester University. So clearly, people are interested in him even if there are serious question marks still in play. Number two, big man problem. Here's the thing. When it comes to the state of basketball as a whole, both in college and the pros, there are certain pros and cons with every kind of player. For big men, their biggest problem is either being too heavy or too lanky. Their massive frames can take a lot of punishment as the basketball season goes on, and if they're not careful, they'll wind up very hurt. For someone like Robert Bobrovsky, that's a very important problem to figure out, mainly because his body might be bulking up a little, but as a fellow big man, Greg Oden would attest to, if he doesn't bulk up in the right way and prepare his body for the punishment to come, no team will take him. Why? Because while everyone wants a true big man, the injury factor has crippled teams in the past. A great example is happening right now with Anthony Davis. He was able to lead the Lakers to victory alongside LeBron James last year. But this year, multiple injuries are keeping him from playing, and the Lakers might not even make it to the first round of the playoffs. And this is hardly his first injury in his career. So that is something that Sir Robert will have to figure out. Number one, could he make it in the league? It's always hard to go and predict how good or how bad someone will do in a pro league because you can do great in college but do terrible in the pros, or you can do so-so in the college ranks, make it to the big leagues, and just go off. For Robert, how good he actually is will just have to be something that we observe over time, especially as he does college next year. That will be the true test, and anything other than that is just speculation. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Robert Bobrovsky and how he is tall enough for the NBA, and yet many still question how good he really is? Can you believe the very look of Robert? Do you think he has the chance to make it into the league if he plays well in college? Or is his stickly frame going to be his downfall? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.